penularan COVID-19 memberi impak kepada kesihatan mental. NCRC mendakwa pandemik tersebut telah meningkatkan tekanan dan penderitaan kepada masyarakat dunia. Pandemik COVID-19 memberikan impak besar kepada masyarakat dunia bukan sahaja dari segi ekonomi malah terus menjejaskan kesihatan mental masyarakat global. Dua pengarah kesihatan Tan Sri Dr. Nur Hisham Abdullah mengakui tugas barisan hadapan KKM sudah lama mengalami kelesuan mental dan fizikal. Kematian angkara COVID-19 di negara ini mencatat peningkatan Sementara itu, pandemik COVID-19 meninggalkan kesan trauma dan gangguan mental dalam segelintir masyarakat. The mental strains of isolation, loss of a job or income, fear of infections, loss of a loved one and general anxiety about the future is taking a serious toll on people's mental health. In university science Malaysia, students are not aware of the importance of counseling sessions or they do not even know which is the proper channels to voice out their opinion. They don't even know which counsellor to seek for to solve for their psychological problem. The consequences of this may result in the emotional responses such as social isolation and mental health problems, including post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety and depression, and the health risk behaviours such as Smoking and also drink. I'm a student in person. Then I find that uh, myself is hopeless, and nobody can uh, help me in my study because uh, along the MCO period, I'm the only student uh, in the dorm, and all my friend is in hometown, and and my dad is jobless now. And I didn't find uh, anyone that I can share with. I don't know if there is any platform that can help me, that can uh, let me counsel. And here is the solutions that link with the students in USM to the certified counselor in USM. And this is eHealth USM. I'm Rex Leibenkiong, I'm final year student from School of Computer Sciences USM. E-Health system comprises of three users, students, certified USM counselor and admin. And it is a web-based system for students to make appointments with USM counselor through available slot of counselor. So now, let me show you how the system works. As you can see, this is the login page of three users. Now, let's register an account for a student. The student is now logging into the system and let's update the profile first. For this, the students can book their preferred counsellor. For better understanding of the student's mental health, students need to fill out the psychological assessment for the counsellor. As you can see, there is currently no appointment with the counsellor. So now, Let's see how the students create appointment with the counsellor. As we can see, two of the booking slots is being booked by other students. Let's choose slot on Wednesday. Let's agree to the terms and conditions and fill the detail of the booking info. The students can either choose face-to-face -face or online counselling mode. And here is the very first appointment, the students with the counsellor. Now, let's see what happens when the students join the virtual video call. Now, let's join the meeting with the counsellor. And here is the student. And here is the second user, counsellor. And this is the dashboard of a counsellor. For this, every counsellor has their own expertise in counselling in solving specific students' problem. As we can see here, there are three timetables has been scheduled and one student's appointment. As you can see, all the schedule has been occupied by students. Let's create a new timetable on Friday. Let's see how a counsellor can generate a student report. With student report, counsellor can have better understanding about the student's mental state.
as you can see here, there is a face-to-face -face appointment by a student, Yasmin, in counsellor appointment. Now, let us walk through the admin panel. In admin panel, admin can manage their counselling departments or school, manage counsellor, students, and the system general setting. This system is present is relevant to the issue faced by the student as the students in USF is still using the traditional way of set up appointment with counsellor. Many of the students feel that it is a shame to counsel by a counsellor. But with this system, students can never worry about the appointment issue and they can choose the preferred counsellor that they feel comfortable with. Students are given a chance to choose whether they are preferred online counselling or face-to-face -face counselling. A special virtual room is set up for the counsellor and the students based on the booking slot choosing chosen by the students. Undeniably, this is a simple yet innovative system can help to lessen the depression issue in USF. When talking about the mental health issue, it is abstract and not everyone can understand. With this system, it matches the students with the with psychological problem with the right counsel to solve the problem, hereby slowly creating awareness among the students and USM community about the mental health issue. This system has the commercial value in USM. A special collaboration between USM counseling support department is set up in May and June, and the system is currently run on cloud with traffic load balancing and photo screen. Once it is commercialized in USM, the data will be migrated to USM in house server for privacy purposes. For upcoming improvement, this system will expand to mobile applications instead of just using web-based applications. This can ease every user to get into access the system.